Welcome to Palazzo Capone Le Rovinate. This has been our home since 1435. I'm Sebastiano Caponi. I am the manager and the winemaker for this generation of the family. The family uh, dates back to 1215. That's the first document that we have on a member of the Caponi family enlisted in a guild here in Florence. We are very much connected to wine because every palace in Florence had a little cellar where they could sell the product that they were making in the countryside. It happens that we have a, uh, an estate in Chianti Classico called Villa Calcinaia, and the product of the estate was sold in a little, uh, uh, let's call it a little cellar called La Cantina di Poldo uh, on the ground floor of the palace. So in Florence there were 17 guilds uh, to run the Republic, and if you wanted to be part of the government, you needed to be part of a guild. There were 10 major ones, uh, sorry, 10 minor ones and 7 major ones. Amongst the minor ones, there was the, 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 um, the Arte di Vinatieri, the Guild of Wine Merchants. Um, this is because wine has always been a very important economy of Florence. Um, Florence has been surrounded by countryside and by hilly countryside where wine was made since the beginning of time. And so that wine was sold usually in Florence by the, uh, the farm's agents uh, in, on Friday morning in the Piazza della Signoria where the agents of the different farms will meet the wine brokers and they will haggle on the price of wine. And um, also the other important element that uh, large families or important families had to sell the wine was the, uh, the little door that uh, every palace has or most of the palace have uh, where you can uh, go and buy uh, a bottle of wine just by knocking on this little door and uh, you'll uh, put your empty bottle, you'll pay and the money of course, and you'll get back the full bottle. Uh, this, these things are called buche da vino and you can, if you go around Florence you'll find many of those.